Hello everyone, welcome back to Vector Labs FZE LLC. Today our target app is QR Scanner. By using it, we can fetch the data hidden in the QR code and copy that data to anywhere. We can also flash on and switch the camera. First open Windows PowerShell. Create QR Scanner app folder. Open it in Android Studio. Go to main dot. Open the emulator. First remove the im. Edit title QR scanner. Modify home. Rename it QR scanner. After that, remove extra classes. Create a stateful widget. Rename it QR scanner. So, this is our Scratch app. First, remove debug banner. Then, replace placeholder with scaffold. Customize app bar, set background color to amber dot shade 900. Add some icons in the app bar. First QR scanner. Now customize QR scanner icon. After leading, add a title QR scanner. Move it to center of app bar. After title, use actions. In actions, add two icon buttons. First one for flash and second one for switch camera. To use flash and camera, create some bools, is flash on, set its false, then is front camera, also set it to false. Use them in icon buttons. First set their color, when flash is on, its color will be white, otherwise it will be black. Use the bool in on pressed. Same for icon button, camera. Now add a body, use a container in it, and add child column. In column, use three expanded. First, keep it with container, copy it and paste two times more. Now customize expanded, first add a column, here we will use two text. First one is place the QR code in design edit area, set its alignment to center, then modify the size of container, set its width to infinity and add padding 20. After this, Use another text, let the scan do the magic, it starts on its own. Then use a size box and in second expanded add a stack. First set its flex to 2. Go to perspect.jml and add a mobile scanner. It will scan the QR. Then add QR scanner overlay. Go back to main dot and in stack. First use mobile scanner to use it properly. First go to Android app and build Gradle. Set minimum as ticket version to 21. Now you can see that our mobile scanner is working. Add a bool is scan completed and set it to false. Add a method close screen and is scan completed false. On detect if scan is completed, then is scan completed equal to true. Use a string code
and on detecting the QR code, it will navigate to QR result screen. Create a new dart QR result. Stateless widget QR result and import it in QR scanner. Add final string code and final function close screen. Import them in QR result. After mobile scanner, now use QR scanner overlay. Customize it. First, select this overlay color, then border color. Now set its border radius to 20 and border stroke width to 10. Select its width and height. You can also change its height, width radius and colors in third expanded add text scan properly to see results move it below from well scanner wrap it with row and set main axis alignment center go to qr result and modify it use a scaffold and customize the bar Add mobile scanner controller. In icon button on pressed, use a set state and use camera controller toggle torch. Same for icon button camera. On pressed, flash will be switched on or off and camera will be switched to front or back. Go back to bug spec and add QR filter. And go to mobile scanner use a controller camera controller also allow duplicates now scan a random qr and our qr result is on the screen customize it accordingly add icon button arrow back to move back to qr scanner Add title in app bar scan result. Move it to center. Now modify body. First add a padding. Set it 60 from all and use a child column. In column, first add QR image view. It will fetch the same QR code to QR result screen. Select its size and version. Then add a text. Scan QR. Use a size box to separate it from another text, which is the code hidden in the QR. This is the code hidden in QR. Now use a size box for elevated button copy. That will copy the code to paste it anywhere. First set its width and height. Then use a child elevated button. In child add a text copy. And on pressed it will copy the code to clipboard. Now customize elevated button, set its background color. Now move the code to center of screen. For it use a size box of 120. And here is our complete QR scanner app. Go back to QR scanner screen. 
scan any QR code and see the QR code and the code hidden in it. You can also switch on flash and switch the camera to front or back. Scan another code and see the data and code hidden in it. In the same way, you can scan any QR code and fetch the code, copy it and paste it to anywhere. Hope so you enjoy the video and if you enjoy the video, show your reaction in the comment section and if you like the video, like and subscribe our channel to get more updates immediately. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section and if you need the code for this app, you can copy it from GitHub, link given in the description. See you in the next video. Bye bye.